Ever pondered why some individuals prefer their own company over the crowd's hustle and bustle? Welcome to the fascinating world of the lone wolf personality. This term, often used in popular culture, describes individuals who value solitude, self-reliance and independence. They are not antisocial or introverted by default, but rather choose to walk their own path, often diverging from the crowd. The lone wolf personality is shrouded in intrigue and quite often misunderstanding. Society, with its penchant for categorization, often labels these individuals as loners, outcasts or recluses. But let's be clear, being a lone wolf is not synonymous with being lonely or isolated. It's about finding comfort, peace and even growth in solitude something that many of us might struggle to comprehend. This personality type is intriguing because it challenges our traditional notions of social interaction. We live in a world that constantly emphasizes the importance of networking, teamwork and togetherness. But here's the twist. The lone wolf thrives outside these norms. They find their strength in solitude, their creativity and quiet, and their identity in independence. Why is it essential to understand this personality type, you ask? Well, for starters, it helps us cultivate better relationships. Recognizing and respecting a person's lone wolf trait can lead to more meaningful connections based on mutual understanding. It's about acknowledging that not everyone thrives in the same environment or derives energy from the same sources. Moreover, understanding the lone wolf personality can also contribute to personal growth. It allows us to explore different ways of living and being, challenging us to question our own habits and preferences. Perhaps there's a bit of a lone wolf in all of us waiting to be discovered and embraced. So, are you intrigued yet? Ready to delve deeper into this enigma? Buckle up because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey that will challenge what you thought you knew about personality types. Dive in as we uncover the enigma of the lone wolf. Meet John, a successful entrepreneur who thrives in solitude. John's world is one of quiet focus and determination. He's a trailblazer in his industry, not because he's always surrounded by a team, but because he often prefers the company of his own thoughts. John's journey to success was not paved with group brainstorming sessions or crowded office spaces. Instead, he found his stride and solitude, his genius flowing freely in the quiet corners of his world. His preference for working alone isn't a sign of antisocial behavior, but rather an indication of his self-reliance and comfort in his own company. John's entrepreneurial spirit is fueled by his independent nature. He doesn't wait for others to solve problems or create solutions. Instead, he relies on his own abilities, skills and instincts. This self-reliance isn't just about doing things alone. It's about trusting himself, his judgment and his capacity to overcome obstacles. In his solitude, John finds a unique kind of freedom. Freedom to think, to explore, to experiment without the fear of judgment or criticism. This space allows him to tap into his creativity and innovation, resulting in ideas and strategies that are truly original and uniquely his. Many might argue that collaboration is key to success, but John's story paints a different picture. It highlights that there's power in solitude, in being a lone wolf. It's not about being isolated or cut off from the world, but about knowing when to step back, reflect, and let your own wisdom guide you. John's comfort in solitude is not a weakness, but a strength. It's not a barrier, but a gateway to his success. He's not just surviving in solitude, he's thriving, proving that the lone wolf isn't just a myth, but a reality. For many successful individuals, John's story is a testament to the power of lone wolf traits. His journey shows us that there's nothing wrong with walking alone as long as you're walking in the right direction. Being a lone wolf doesn't mean you're lost in the wilderness. 
it means you're leading the pack in your own unique way. Let's shift focus to Emma, a renowned artist with a penchant for seclusion. Emma is an acclaimed painter whose work has graced the walls of some of the world's most prestigious museums. Her art, a vivid tapestry of emotion and introspection, often leaves viewers in awe. But behind the canvas, Emma is a self-proclaimed lone wolf. Emma's need for personal space is as palpable as the brush strokes on her paintings. She treasures solitude, finding comfort in the quiet corners of her studio. It's within these moments of isolation that she unearths her most profound ideas. She is not anti-social, rather, she is selectively social. She cherishes her relationships, but also values her alone time, relishing in the freedom it provides to explore her inner world. Her creative process is unique, a testament to her lone wolf traits. Emma doesn't seek inspiration from bustling cities or crowded cafes. Instead, she dives into the depths of her own psyche. She navigates through her thoughts, emotions and experiences, transforming them into powerful visual narratives. Her art is a reflection of her inner landscape, a world she largely explores alone. Her autonomous nature extends beyond her creative process. Emma manages her own exhibitions, preferring to handle everything herself. She takes pride in her independence, seeing it not as a burden, but as an opportunity to maintain control over her artistic vision. Her lone wolf traits are not a hindrance. Quite the contrary, they fuel her creativity, allowing her to produce art that resonates with people on a deeply personal level. Emma doesn't feel the need to conform to societal norms or expectations. She dances to the beat of her own drum, and it's this individuality that makes her art so enchanting. Emma's story is a compelling example of how solitude can be a powerful catalyst for creativity. Her journey is proof that lone wolves, despite their preference for solitude, can make significant contributions to society. They can evoke emotions, spark conversations, and create art that transcends boundaries. Emma's journey illustrates how lone wolves can flourish in the creative sphere. Our final case study introduces us to Alex, an acclaimed scientist known for his independent research. Alex's story is one of an unyielding pursuit of knowledge, a journey driven by a lone wolf spirit. His approach to research is solitary, yet profoundly impactful. In a world where collaborative research is often hailed as the way forward, Alex's methods are an intriguing deviation from the norm. He is a testament to the power of the individual mind, the strength of a single focused intellect. In his laboratory, Alex is the master of his universe. He does not rely on the intellectual stimulus of colleagues. Instead, he draws inspiration from the challenges that his research presents, wrestling with complex problems until he finds a solution. It's a personal battle of intellect and curiosity, a testament to his individualistic approach to problem solving Alex's independent research methods do not suggest a disdain for collaboration. Rather, they highlight his comfort in his own company, his trust in his own abilities. He doesn't shy from seeking help when necessary, but his first port of call is always his own intellect. His confidence in his abilities, combined with his relentless pursuit of knowledge, make him a formidable force in the world of science. However, it's not all work and no play for our lone wolf scientist. Alex understands the importance of balance. He savors the solitude that his work provides, but also appreciates the joys of life outside the lab. His hobbies, like his work, are solitary, long walks in the park, reading, painting. They provide him with the relaxation and rejuvenation he needs to continue his solitary pursuit of scientific truths. Alex's journey is a compelling case study of the lone wolf personality in the realm of science. 
His solitary approach and individualistic problem-solving techniques have led to significant breakthroughs, proving that the lone wolf's path, though less traveled, can lead to remarkable discoveries. Alex's success underscores the potential of lone wolves in the realm of science and research. Having delved into our case studies, let's now decode the common traits of lone wolves. A lone wolf's personality is often wrapped in layers of mystique, but certain traits stand out starkly first and foremost. A lone wolf is self-reliant. They trust their abilities and intuition above all else. In a world that encourages teamwork and groupthink, lone wolves are the ones who dare to walk alone, to trust their own instincts, to follow their own path. Comfort in solitude is another hallmark of the lone wolf. They are not loners because they are lonely, but because they find solace in solitude. They appreciate the quiet, the peace, the chance to reflect and recharge. Solitude is not a punishment for them, but a sanctuary where they can be their authentic selves. Then there's the need for personal space. Lone wolves are fiercely protective of their independence. They respect boundaries and they expect others to respect theirs. They thrive in environments where they have the freedom to think, to create, to innovate without constraints. And speaking of innovation, lone wolves have a unique approach to problem solving. They are not afraid to challenge the status quo or to think outside the box. They see possibilities where others see dead ends. They turn obstacles into opportunities. They are the trailblazers, the pioneers, the visionaries who dare to dream and to make those dreams a reality. What's more, lone wolves are often deeply sensitive and empathetic. They feel things deeply, they care deeply, and they love deeply albeit in their own unique way. They may not wear their hearts on their sleeves, but that doesn't mean their hearts are not full. In conclusion, being a lone wolf is not about being antisocial or aloof. It's about being true to oneself, about trusting one's instincts, about daring to walk a path less traveled. These traits, while possibly misunderstood, can indeed be the makings of a successful lone wolf. Wondering if you might be a lone wolf yourself? Well, let's dive into the heart of this intriguing question. We all have the capacity to be a lone wolf. Some of us just haven't tapped into it yet. It's about understanding yourself deeply, acknowledging your individualistic nature and cherishing your own company. So how do you identify lone wolf traits within yourself? It's all about self-reflection. Do you enjoy solitude? more than social interaction? Does your heart yearn for freedom? And do you find yourself marching to the beat of your own drum? If you answered yes to these questions, then you might already be on the path of the lone wolf. But remember, being a lone wolf doesn't mean isolating yourself from the world. It simply means finding comfort and peace in your own company and not relying on others for validation or happiness. It's about being self-sufficient independent and embracing your uniqueness. Now the key here is to not just identify these traits, but to embrace them. Embracing your lone wolf nature might sound daunting, but it's a journey of self-discovery that leads to a deeper understanding and acceptance of oneself. It's about celebrating your individuality and letting your true self shine. Embrace your solitude. It's your time to recharge, to think, to create, embrace your independence. It's your strength. Embrace your unique way of seeing the world. It's your perspective that makes you you. But what's the importance of all this self-acceptance and embracing your lone wolf nature? Well, it leads to personal growth. When you understand yourself, your needs, your dreams, you can set a clear path for yourself. You're not swayed by the crowd you're driven by your own goals and ambitions. Understanding and embracing your lone wolf nature isn't a one-time thing. It's a continuous process. It's a journey of self-exploration, self-acceptance and self-love. And remember, it's okay to be a lone wolf.